Yo guys, Joe Max here, BaseballBeast.com, HowToTrainForBaseball.com, got a video blog for you guys today, question from Phil, let's check it out guys, <clears throat> Joe, what's on? What's your thoughts on heavy weight training for baseball opposed to light weight slash body weight training for baseball from Phil? Um, Phil, that's a pretty broad question, but um, in essence, uh, you know, it really is not a matter of like heavy versus light, it's just a matter of... Uh, doing the right things and you know learning how to train properly so you know I you I don't really do a whole lot of uh, so-called max effort work with my baseball guys um, you know like working above 90% of their one rep max but you know we do try to move heavy weight so especially for the high school kids um, kids that you know could uh, follow linear periodization where like they each week you know beginners could just improve uh, week after week just keep adding weight to the bar that's definitely what we do with them we don't stick to just lightweight for like 12 to 15 reps we get them working up to you know low low to moderate reps for you know but we always do sub max leaving a couple reps in the tank um you know if you want to get strong that's what you got to do you're not going to get strong doing 10 12 15 reps high rep training on specific certain exercises like squats deadlifts um you know pressing exercises are not you know the the smartest idea for you especially intermediate athletes who um, need to get stronger, who don't really have a great foundation of strength, they need, you know, uh, to keep adding weight to that bar, working with a low to moderate rep weight, uh, range, and really just start to uh, kill it there. Um, you know, body weight training is a great tool in the bag. I don't think it's always like, I only train heavy, I only train light. It should be a mixed bag of both. You know, we're going to train certain exercises, you know, pretty heavy, and then other exercises like push-ups, pull-ups, uh, glute ham raises, those are staples in the program, but, you know, we use a little bit higher rep range with them. And, you know, hand walking, bear crawls, we use some of that stuff. Um, you know, body weight stuff just another tool in the bag. It's a part of the program. It doesn't have to be the entire program, especially in season. We do a lot more of, um, you know, body weight stuff. But, again, it's just really a matter of blending the both, and that's the ultimate way to train like a baseball beast. And, you know, that's what my website's about. If you guys checked out uh, Real Deal Baseball Training, you can kind of see, um, you know, the periodization model we use in there, the assistance exercises we use in there. It's really a blend of, you know, lifting heavy but with submaximal weights and body weight training. So, you know, it's that's a pretty broad question and sorry that's a pretty broad answer. But, you know, it, and again, it really depends on the athlete, the sp uh, specific needs of the athlete. You know, am I going to have Tim Lincecum, you know, training with heavy weights? Probably not. He's mastered his craft. He's, you know, one of the best at what he does. And the main goal for that guy, for all athletes, is to stay healthy, but especially, uh, you know, a high level athlete like that. Um, so, you know, it really depends on the athlete. And I gave you, you know, a general answer for, you know, for most of my guys. But hopefully that helped out a little bit, Phil. Joe Megs here, BaseballBeast.com. I'll check you guys out soon. Peace.